This is home for this morning. We have to cut four down lights and cut off it. Same thing from the other side. I think we can put a large ladder there, but what are we doing over the roof? That's it. We have that roof here, so you can't really put a, a steps there, any pair of steps. <sighs> so you can put the steps here. The three of them we can do them easily from down here. The fourth one, you have to crawl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Can you do you see the? The pins there, mm -hmm. where the nails are, so they were the, the rafters are. So I didn't realize this. So we don't have to guesswork the rafters. Yeah. So we know exactly where they are, so we can... So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can measure between the two edges and then spread the other ones so the good news is we have this step ladder here which it's not extremely high so you can easily cut everything from the bottom and then we can run the cables from the from the loft which is gonna be that hard of a job okay let's set up that ladder and then just to confirm the measurements uh, so let me see that way up. So we are about, yeah, there it is, all right. You can open it. Oh, more, there's no reason to be so stiff. Stand off, Matt, as well, if you want to be stood away from the wall, bitch. Sorry? I've got a standoff as well. No, it's all right, yeah. because. Yeah. Don't need it. Just need enough to, to drill. Yeah. Okay. And the good thing because we have the pins, we know where the rafters are. Ah, boy. So we, oh, do, yeah. we don't we don't have to guess on. we don't have to guess work <laughs> the rafters. <laughs> that was my biggest worry. Yeah. Don't don't cut and then yeah, cut it, you cut the, the soffit well, and that's it. Yeah. You destroy the soffit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just leg it, yeah. Or foot it. In the middle bit of the socket. Yeah, because the, those two are the same width. Yeah. So we can take it as a. And it's gonna look a lot. I mean, even if it's slightly different, it's gonna look much better if you have that as a sender. Otherwise, it's gonna look a little bit off. It just about hit the rafter, but the light, the internal dimension of the lights is a lot smaller, so it won't be a problem. <laughs> oh. 
yes, look, got the bright side of the Always look at the bright side of loft. <laughs> yes. So you're gonna stick a, a dual channel kinetic, yeah. and then we're gonna stick two, this one gang switches. One in the front of the house, one in the back. We're putting the receivers up in the loft as well. Sorry? Keep putting the receivers up in the loft. Yeah, we're gonna stick it in the loft. It's so to the upstairs lighting. So yeah, from one of the lights, we're gonna take power from there. Yeah. And I'm gonna stick it in the loft somewhere. I mean, directly over the light, and I'm gonna put the junction, but I'll show you yeah. when we go upstairs. Did you wanna do the front one? Uh, yeah, let's do the front one. Just to, because then we finish with a step with a, with a ladder. Yeah. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna, the trick we're gonna do. Okay, you can do the, the front one. This one's gonna be a little more challenging, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna do now, yeah. uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna cut a la long piece of flex. Uh, if you grab the box with the lights, We have all the lights. Put them up. Yeah, so we take all the lights out. So on, on the actual down light, if you take the click connectors, we stick this one here. Okay. Then I'll cut a long piece of flexes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stack okay. one end, this one, and then inside the loft, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna loop them so we've got to put the four of them yeah on either side yeah and then we fit either side the four flexes we're gonna bunch them together on a wiggle box and then we're gonna run another flex to the jb where the with the shiver is yeah so so you're gonna do that both sides so so this way if uh in the future it has to, to come down you have to go upstairs hold it the, the springs together and just drop it down yeah. and you can unclip it take it off yeah. so you don't have to use large steps yeah makes all makes the job a lot faster so if you start if you start doing that yeah. frank there's a bag of tire ups over there yeah. uh, So the, the, the trick, the other trick is, so you get the springs together and you, oh, it's, nice. it's, it's yeah. easier if you, if you tie it up together, so, pull it through the hole and then, yeah, so otherwise you have to stick your, 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 your and yeah, it's, and so you do this yeah. a little bit higher. It makes it you cut it off and the only thing when when you have it in inside the the ceiling you just snip the tire ups yeah and, and the springs are coming into play so i need to measure a few meters off yeah. keep all the rubs in here I saw that on YouTube actually, what, yeah. by accident. See what the way this is done. Yeah, and uh, I mean the guy he was doing like a a light on the 
a downlight in a, over a landing. So he used like a, a lot of extenders yeah. and he cut the, the he drilled the, the central hole from under yeah. and then from the top he used his um, hole cutter and then, yeah. and then pulled it yeah he pulled it through so you get about seven meters it's quite too much but it just give us a little bit of slack It's gonna be enough. Uh, I guess I'm blocking. So I go in with the cable, push it through. Yeah, so you go up with the cables. So we can do the Wego connection down here, yeah. part of it. So you go up in the loft you, and you drop them down to me. I will clip, clip the light and then you pull it up. So we can we we should do like as much as we work what we can do yeah. down here so minimize the time in the lock. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just about. Oh yeah? Yeah. Is that all eight of them? Hmm? Is that all eight of them? Yeah. I mean we need a little bit more but I have I have two in the earth. We can use two in the earth for the rest of it. Yeah. Okay, I had to pop in back to TLC. Because apparently they give me the wrong receiver. Should give give me the dual channel, give me a single channel. That's what Frank is doing. So there are two of them, three of them. Red been fitted. One of them needs a little bit of pushing. That's one hanging down all the way down here. Okay, let's see. The Frank, you can you can pull this one up. <laughs> so all the way up. It's like throwing fish. Come on, keep going. Right. Let's see how it's going to go through the ledge. Okay, that went right. Okay. Great success. Let's go upstairs to see what he's doing in there while I was away. Stop complaining. Then you haven't, you haven't even done the worst of it yet. Can't fit, I can't fit the straw through the hole. Really? To get it. Okay. Uh, we have to work out with a, with a little giant. Uh, have you got the drill? Where is it? You don't have to come out from there. Just tell me where it is. Um, I think it's just over there. Well, it's over there. Uh, Be careful, don't go through the ceiling. Ah, okay, so it. Okay, we managed to do that hole over there. Don't ask me how we managed it. Just rest assured we broke every health and safety rule known in humanity to do it. <sighs> and we're still alive. So now Frank is in the loft again. He will start dropping the the flexes from the holes. And uh, now we'll I will clip the the down lights so he can pull them up. 
Come on, Frank. Where are you? Wrong. Little the spiders there. Yeah, it's it's very narrow in there. You hardly can fit. So you you can you have to belly and then fill it with your hands blind so you can put the the clip connected through the hole. So this is where he struggles right now. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, forest. Okay, you're good. Let me clip this one. Oh yeah, take it up. Frank, yeah. drop it down the tie ups left the, the springs. Yeah, those things happen. Okay. Customer, it's quite good. I first, the first job I did for you is I replaced this consumer unit there, and when I popped in to see the job, so I came to take my notes, what kind of uh, RCBOs I need, and he he's like, yeah, we're like, job is yours, come and do it. So I said like, you're too confident because. I know I'm, I'm not the cheapest, so sometimes people are quite confident they use me, but when I send my quote, they, they kick back. But this one was quite cool. All the lights have been fitted, so I hope you can see them. Let's go the back. That's, that's, that's the other ones, the other four. Uh, I need maybe to drive by an evening to take a picture of them as they they show in the dark. So I have to tidy up a few bits down here. I'm going upstairs uh, with Frank to pair to to give power and pair the switches, and that pretty much done so i reckon we have about another half hour 45 minutes uh, there he is at his favorite place on earth like the video feel sorry about frank and like the video if you don't care about him <laughs> go find me. yeah yeah Pounds year. Yeah, <laughs> 50 pounds savings for the year. Oh man, you rich. <laughs> You're the richest electrician's mate. <laughs> you, usually they, they spend all the money to the pub. <laughs> I mean, this job, I, could, I, I wouldn't be able to do it on my own. It would take me like three days to finish it on my own. Okay, so get the receiver in your hand. So press press and hold the button until the, the red ones start flashing. The red lights are flashing. Yeah. It's flashing. Good. Yeah, okay. So now to pair the second channel, yeah. double tap it. Is the blue one on? Blue one. Yeah, so do the same thing. Press and hold until it starts flashing. Blue. Yeah. That's right. So when you when you pair them, yeah. so you have to press the switch. Also, red is one. And... Yeah, red one, and blue is two. But when you pair the switch, uh, <coughs> so you have to click it three or four times. Yeah. So you you basically confirm that it's going on and off. Yeah. So, so now it? now the lights are on. Yeah. So when the so now they're off. So you see the the, the LED goes on and off. Yeah. Right. So Where just do you want me to leave just. That? No, they're just. Put it somewhere that all the cables are. No, there's someone. Yes, I'm somewhere there. 
that's, yeah, that's under that piece of timber, so it's a bit safe as well. Okay. Just need to go outside to check that they're working. We don't have any interferences. And that's it. If you start moving everything down, yeah. well, there they are. So that's the one. So what we're gonna do with that with my sharpie. I'm going with that. So the back and front. Those are working. So just need to go and check the ones at the back. Okay, this one doesn't work probably because I lose connection somewhere. Frank, uh, the one that's this side is not working. So the one further. Yeah. Like so if you if you take a tire up, yeah. No, you just push it to go through the hole and drop it down. I'll take the connections. Um, yeah. And then you tie it up. Yeah, yeah, like tie it up and you can take it up. Okay, while we're doing this, uh, subscribe to the channel and. Yes. Okay. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.